so excited. Welcome to the Empowered by Design podcast. I am so excited to bring you this episode and to bring you Angie Meyer. Angie Meyer is an Enneagram coach. I have talked about her. I have promised that she was coming on and the day has arrived. She's here. I'm so excited to introduce you to her and to talk about some amazing things that we have coming for you in this episode and beyond. So stay tuned. Hold on to your seats. I'm so excited. First, I'm going to start with reading her bio and then I will bring her on with us. Welcome to the podcast, Empowered by Design. I am your host, Dr. Liz, a hopeful romantic, mom of two beautiful souls, and partner to the love of my life. As a licensed psychologist, I love helping people heal, grow, and shine. I am a love and relationship specialist and owner of Visionistas by Design Wellness Boutique, where we lead with love and empower you to fly. This podcast delivers inspirational stories, conversations, and lessons on the power of tuning in body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit, following your intuition, seeing the signs, and listening to the whispers from angels. To pursue your dreams in life, work, and love with intentional vision. Share the love, spread the power, dream, design, deliver. Angie Meyer is an Enneagram coach helping you answer that burning question, why am I this way? She will help you discover your true type along with uncovering your authentic powers and mapping out your growth path. Angie is a type five and is ready to help you discover your authentic self. Oh, welcome, Angie. I'm so excited to have you here. Liz, I'm so happy to be here. I love your podcast. I listen all the time. And of course, I've benefited from our refreshing energy and confidence session. And so I just am so excited to be able to talk to your audience and bring the Enneagram and the wisdom of it into their lives too. I love it. Yeah, thank you. Yes, we are going to get into so much, so much today. We, So Angie and I, let's talk first about how we connected, but let me just give a brief outline. We're going to talk about how we connected. You already mentioned that you had a refreshing you energy and confidence consult with me. I also have had a few consults with you. Um, you get, you gave me, me my Enneagram type. We also did a human design consult together. Um, and we just, and every time we've been overlapping and working together, we knew that we had to do some collabo. And so this is, this is step one of our collabo. And like I said, stay tuned until the end because we have some exciting, exciting things to tell you about that you can do after listening to this podcast episode. So I'm very excited. So let's start with how we met, how we how we connected. Oh, okay. So how I met Liz, we are both entrepreneurs, of course. I'm an Enneagram coach, and she has all of her amazing programs, her energy reading and working with professionals and her podcast development project that she does. And so we met through our business coach, and it was a magical experience. Like immediately when I saw Liz on one of our group coaching calls, I was new. She had been there a lot longer than me. I was like, Ooh, who is this magical woman who has all this psychological advanced knowledge background, but then she's bringing all of this energy work into her, um, people's lives. And so it was so exciting. And from then we've just become fast friends and doing Ooh. an Instagram session for her, was magical because she's a type four and I <laughs> love type fours. They're so fun. And she just really has been such a magical force in my, in my business and Aww. helping me with my business. And so Liz, I'm so thankful for that. And so thankful that 
I get to be on this podcast sharing that with your audience. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. And then Liz did a wonderful refreshing energy competence session for me. And it was so magical because um, it really just boosted my energy, which is what Liz, what you're all about. And, <laughs> um, and so it boosted my energy and it boosted my confidence and helped me really start sharing my gift with the world, which is something that I'm going to talk about a lot when I go over the Enneagram, because that was a big thing that the Enneagram helped me do. And so did the combination of the energy work, Liz, that you've done with me. Um, and just being able to speak about my gifts. I think a lot of business, especially women struggle with that. And I certainly did. And so that's just such a big influence that you've had on me. Oh, that is so wonderful to hear. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I remember, um, one of my very first memories of you, I, and it might've been when you talked about like a group coaching call, I remember talking about you know, coming on. And when, when we were, when we're talking about our coach, it's Sean Miner, and, um, she does lots of things with entrepreneurs and we were in that community together. And I remember being on a group coaching call and I had talked about, um, really getting out of my own way and recognizing how some of my own life experiences were showing up in my business, right? Mm -hmm. So really recognizing what, whatever, um, recognizing who we are, right? The importance of self-awareness and whether that's life experiences, our values, our culture, um, trauma that we've experienced, relationships, all the things um, that they, if you are a, an entrepreneur, that those things are going to show up in your business. And sometimes it's like, you don't know it. And until you do the work to what we're talking about today and what is one aspect of it is learning more about yourself, having that awareness, building awareness of yourself personally and professionally, you're not going to see, you might not see how it's affecting your business positively and negatively, right? So I remember in that call, you side, um, messaged me through zoom right like you private yeah. messaged me and you you asked me a very specific question about what i had said you you asked me a clarifying question and and i i remember feeling like at that point we hadn't really known each other mm -hmm. long but i was like oh something connected us in something right like a shared mm -hmm. experience or just like energy connected us in in a really positive way and i have oh my gosh who i have been so thankful for our work together and the the two sessions that i that you gave to me the the um the human design and the Enneagram typing, you know, I get so excited when I learn things and <laughs> you taught me so much and helped me understand myself better and how to understand myself better in my business. Mm -hmm. And I have, I have appreciated that so much and loved being, being able to follow up with you and stay in connection with you. We have a, we have a community ourselves, biz besties, our coaching, our little own coaching community that we, we connect with other professionals, um, from that coach, from the broader coaching community. And that has been for me, one of the, one of the best and most supportive and empowering places that I, that I have connection. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I I love that you're talking about how important all of this inner work is for people's business business success because I've seen it firsthand and of course you've seen it firsthand and we have special like connections to inner work and self-growth work because that's what we do. Yes. But a lot of business professionals don't. I am also I have so many um groups that I'm a part of. I'm also part of a group. I live in St. Louis and hmm. with St. Louis professionals. And in this group, we're first time entrepreneurs and everyone gets help with our finances Ooh. and our banking needs. And even like we have lawyers who write our contracts for us and it's such a supportive environment. But the one thing that everyone needs and they're not getting is they're not getting the self help and the spiritual growth work that is required to be a successful business owner. And I noticed that that's the barrier that is mm. keeping everyone from 
leveling up from getting to the next right. part. And I think people put it on the back burner. I know for a long time I did. I did in our refreshing energy confidence session really helped me realize that that's a problem that I have is not speaking about my gifts, mm. which helped me back in my business. And that's so hard to discover without really digging in to that deeper work. And I noticed so many people not doing it and hitting a wall because of it. And I experienced that myself, even though my whole business is self-help. It's so hard sometimes to see it within yourself when you don't have someone to mirror it back to you. Yes. Which is why one of the one of the things that I emphasize in my work wherever I am and whatever clients I'm working with is connection, mm -hmm. right? So I, I'm a psychologist and I provide mental health treatment, um, therapy services individually and in group. So my, one of the things that I love most about my work is when my individual clients get to the point where they can then go into the group therapy program and recognizing that extra power of connection that you don't even know what it does because you don't have it <laughs> until you have it. You don't know how important it is. And so similarly with what you're saying about, um, you know, your connection locally and then our connection, virt you know, virtually is I, I, I can just think of even last week, one of one of our um, biz besties, Andrea said, Liz, are you okay? Right, like just looked at me and I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not tired, <laughs> um, you know? And I'm like, but I was it, like, I took a pause of like, Phew. because you, we've known each other and we, we consistently show up in that space together, you can trust the people in your, in your space, in your community to be able to look at you and be able to say, Hey, I'm, I need it. I'm checking in with you. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that is such a powerful thing. So wherever, wherever you are in your life, whether you're looking for resources for life or relationships or, or, or work is, and that's what we're focusing mm -hmm. on today, career and business, um, having connection, finding community is a game changer is a, an absolute game changer. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more that uh, community and just people who can really get deep with you, I think uh, is incredible. And so now I'm sure your audience who doesn't know what the Enneagram is. I know, and they, I know. You know what you are like, who is Angie? <laughs> like, what is she talking about? Um, so I need to tell them a little bit about tell the us. Enneagram. Tell us and, about the Enneagram. Um, I'm so excited. So like Liz mentioned, I also do some human design work, but Enneagram is my primary focus. The reason for that is that um, the Enneagram is a personality typing system and a self-growth and development and spiritual growth and development system. So it's not just a personality typing. It also has growth work. And the growth work is actually, to me, the most exciting and transformational part of it. So if you've ever done a Myers-Briggs or Strength Finder test, it's kind of like that but so much better. And the reason why it's so much better is because it looks not only at your behavior, which those two tests look primarily at your behavior or your conscious thoughts. This, the Enneagram looks at your core motivations, which really comes from the deepest part within you. And some people are unconscious to their core motivations, which is why they do typing sessions with me because I can help them sort of recover information that they are unconscious to. And so that's what the Enneagram really is. It's similar to Myers-Briggs and Strength Finder, um, but it's way deeper and way more in depth. And to give it sort of like a, a contrast, human design the reason why I focus more on Enneagram over human design is because human design, it is so much um, more connected to like your birth time. You have to know your birth time exactly when you were born, exactly where you were born. And not everyone has access to that information. And that is much more like uh, astrological. And so human design relies on information that some people find too woo. I don't, <laughs> obviously I love it, right. but the Enneagram has a lot more psychological applications and, um, ha is rooted in things that are more like grounding for people who question that woo stuff. And so it does have spiritual roots. 
which I love that. And it's about a thousand years old um, is sort of when it came up and I'm not going to get into all of the super nerdy like roots <laughs> of it. And, um, but I will say that in the 1970s, it turned it, there was a few Enneagram specialists who really turned it into the psychological and personality typing application that we use today. And, um, it is so amazing because once you know your type, then you can access all of the growth work. So part one is figuring out what type you are. And when I say type, I want to be clear, there are nine Enneagram archetypes. So if you look at the Enneagram, it actually translate to draw, translates to drawing of nine. So it's a, a drawing of nine different types, and they're interconnected in all these complicated ways on the inside, which we will get into in um, Liz and my collaboration. So you really have to listen to the end of the podcast to learn <laughs> how to do that. But um, and it's deep and it's complicated, but what you can start with is figuring out which t core type you are out of the nine. And some people think like only nine types, how could you fit every person into the world, in the world, into only nine types? They find that really reductive. But what I want to encourage people is to open their mind because those nine types have thousands and thousands hundreds of thousands of different iterations because there are things like called subtypes and wings and um, tri-types. All of those go into the typing component. And so there's way more than just nine types. But like I said, step one is figuring out your core type. Yes. So that's why we're only talking about the nine today. Um, I, yeah, I want to jump in because I love this Thank you for explaining what the Enneagram is. I um, I will just kind of talk a little bit of which we, we're going to talk about what my Enneagram type is mm -hmm. too because I love I love I loved talking about that and learning about that. Um, where where I think it's important for me to kind of personally come in and say why I am drawn to this and love this so much um, is because I have roots in personality psychology. So when I was going through my program and training to get my, my um, degree in psychology, I did a lot of work with a personality, uh, a personality as well when I was doing research in my dissertation. And what I used was the NEO, which is a five factor model for personality. And I did a little bit of research as, as I was preparing for our program today and recognizing the, that there's collaborate, there's um, correlation and connection between the five factor model. So when I talk about the five factor model, that's the, um, the NEO is the test for, is the assessment for that. And, and it measures um, openness to experience, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism, which that neuroticism is really, how do you adjust to life circumstances? How, what, how are you, how are you emotionally, mentally adjusted and behaviorally to life, life changes and just life in general? So for me, I was coming from that program, very scientific based and, um, a, several months ago, probably about a year and a half ago now, um, in one of my meditation, times in the morning, I had this message that came through to me that said, you have more to offer in the spiritual realm. And like this calling to, um, to bring in my, my spirituality, uh, my, my love for spirituality into the science and into the emotion and into the psychology, because um, sometimes people kind of shy away from spirituality. And like you said, are, aren't as comfortable going to those places because we can't really see it, right? It's you, you must have some kind of belief system of faith in, um, in something in order to incorporate spirituality into the work. And so it feels to me like this bridge that was, um, that pulled these two things together. And then meeting you was just like, oh, like divine intervention because we 
we connect so well, our energy is vibes so well together. And I loved, loved, loved learning more of it from you. I had been introduced to the Enneagram years ago, but just kind of like one of those on take a test on the computer. Mm -hmm. And then I, and I didn't really know what, what that meant. I didn't know what it meant until I had my typing session with you and you were like, here's what this means. <laughs> and here's, and because you know me and you were able to, to help me then apply it to my life, my love, my relationships, my business, which is so, so amazing. So, oh, thank you. And um, so, yeah, we're going to talk about the types and, and we're going to talk more, more, more. Like you said, there's so much to, to dive into that that is one of the things, one of the reasons we decided to do even more than just this episode, which we'll talk about later. Yes. We have some exciting things in the work that we are collaborating on that if you are loving this content today and you want to apply the Enneagram and confidence and aligning your energy with your values, vision, mission for your business, if you want more, we have some amazing things coming up. So make sure you stay all the way to the end so that you can hear how you can go deeper with me and Angie in applying this content, learning more about this content, learning more about yourself, learning more about your personality, how to boost your confidence, how to align that energy with your goals in your business, how to go deeper and how to apply it personally to your life and career. We have some amazing things coming. We're so excited about, and we're going to tell you more about that, how you can connect with us more. Yeah. And so I love that you bring up the correlation between spirituality and science, because I really do think that the Enneagram embodies that. So while the Enneagram is a super helpful tool, aligning, helping us align our energy to get what needs to get done, done, which is helpful for our business professionals. And it's a really helpful tool to help us develop confidence. And those are tangible things that we experience. There is a spiritual growth path. And if you're not open to, to spiritually, um, tra spiritual transformation is really what I'm going to call it. Then it's hard to access the wisdom of the Enneagram. You really have to have an open mind and want to transform. Now, not everyone has the personality type that a lot of people want proof and they want this and they want that. And there's certainly a lot of data out there that supports the Enneagram. And there's a lot of scientific factors that go into it and practical psychological applications. But I would urge people to get the most out of it, to also be open-minded to this spiritual transformation that comes through. And it's not, that. when I say yeah. spiritual transformation, I don't mean like religious. I don't mean... Um, I don't mean anything. I mean, you can use the Enneagram if you're religious, but mm -hmm. obviously anyone can, Yeah. but it's not like that. It's more like a deep, um, a deep spiritual connection. And I'm sure you talk to, I mean, I've heard you talk about spirituality in such an open-minded way on your podcast. And so that's the type of spirituality that I'm talking about. I love that. Yes. Another reason this connects so well, why we, <laughs> why we connect so well mm -hmm. is that I talk a lot on this podcast and, and it, it is one of the um, threads that weaves throughout my work. We talk a lot about aligning your energy, body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit with your values, with your mission, passion, purpose, and with your vision. That is one of, one of the things that we're always coming back to whatever kind of work that I'm doing, um, wherever I'm talking, you're going to hear me talk about the body, the mind, the heart, the soul, and the spirit. So when I talk about the body, we're talking about that physical energy that we have internally inside our bodies. Our body speaks to us. It gives us messages. When we tune in, we can really connect to what our body wants us to know. Our, our external body, our, our senses, our sensory organs that connect us with the world and, and with each other. Um, and the mind is our thoughts, our ideas. Our minds can be present focused in this moment right now. It can also take us back to the past, thinking about what happened before. It can take us to the future and a planning what is coming. What are we, what do we want to be coming? 
Um, and it can also take us to a different realm where we are in this creative, energetic space that um, as I as I'm saying this, I'm I'm pulling apart the aspects of body, mind, heart, soul, spirit. Mm -hmm. But I must say that they're all very much connected. Um, they they overlap. They they influence one another. The heart I refer to as our emotional that that symbolic housing of our emotions, love and and the range of emotions. So anger and sadness and pleasure and pain and all the different things that we experience on an emotional level. The soul, when I talk about the soul, um, really, again, it's encouraging people, encouraging ourselves to tune into our identity, to be able to know who we are, where we came from, really t think about our values. This is based in culture and family and personality and personal experiences. What, what drives us? What makes us get out of bed in the morning? What motivates us? What is our what are our goals what are our dreams what are what is our vision and that is at the soul level right that real internal who you are um, and who you want to be kind of thing and then the spirit is the energy that pulls it all together so we have this spiritual um, aspect of our identity that permeates and and moves through us internally and then extends beyond right in our aura and connects us through the chakra centers and and through our you know our connection with the universe with divinity with source spirit and and so there it is in a little nutshell and i know that's fast but if you if you're a returning listener then you've heard this before and there are plenty of episodes and i'll put the i'll put this stuff in the show notes as well where you can go a little bit deeper and learn more about all of those aspects so that you can understand them even more but yeah. I, I had to come in and say it <laughs> i love it i love that you express that and knowing that you having your psychology background, which is so much science and so much research and pulling in all of these different spiritual modalities. It's so fun to see how that's reflected precisely in the Enneagram, because yeah. in the Enneagram, we have triads. And so I really want to talk to your audience yes, about these yes. triads because they're going to love it, especially since they're um, really used to you talking about those five different modalities of body, mind, heart, soul, spirit. So in the Enneagram, of course, that we all already talked about how it's a spiritual practice and that you even talk about spirituality as connecting everything. The whole goal of the Enneagram is primarily you have to learn what your core type is, but ultimately the ultimate goal is to have a balance of all nine types mm. in your personality. So when people have a primary type, they never lose that type. But the ultimate goal is to also be able to harness in a mindful way all of the attributes of all nine types. And so yeah. that connectedness, that spiritual connectedness is so embedded in the Enneagram. And then um, the three triads of the Enneagram are body, which they in the Enneagram we call gut. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a minute. And mind, which in the Enneagram we call head, and heart, which in the Enneagram we call heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I love that because there are three triads that represent those three components that you use in your podcast yes. using mm -hmm. all of the scientific background that you have. And um, and then of course we have soul, which would be the soul transformation that you get from the Enneagram. And so when I talk about the triads, let me backtrack a little bit because I got so excited about that connection that I want to make it clear to your audience that, that the Enneagram is very complicated, but accessible for sure to anybody. And one of the ways that we access it is each of the nine personality archetypes are divided into triads. So there's three personality archetypes that go with mind or head. There's three personality archetypes that go with body or gut. And then there's three personality types that go with heart. And so 
what that looks like. If you would be, for example, the heart triad, which Liz, you are. In the Ooh, heart I didn't know this. I'm learning. <laughs> I love this. I love this. So okay. fun. So um, obviously you <laughs> that have- That makes sense to me, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make even more sense when I explain it. You're going to be like, whoa. Um, and so for example, if you were in the heart triad, you see the world through a specific lens of feeling. So people who are in the heart triad- Uh, they have the ability to experience the world in a deep emotional way. And emotion is like their first language, basically their primary language. And it's probably hard for you, Liz, to imagine that there's six personality types that don't experience the world like that. Um, Uh, um, Yes, it's hard. It's hard. And it's hard to be married to one of them. (laughs) (laughs) It's so I'm um, in the mind or head triad. And so it's Mm. hard for me to understand that some people don't experience the world like that. And so that's how the triads work. So the, um, I'll tell you how the triads, your audience, how the triads are organized uh, in case they know their Enneagram. And if they don't, I can talk about how all the Enneagrams in a second, uh, one, nine, and eight are all in the body triad. And so that means that they experience the world through the lens of the body. And the way that that manifests for each type is really different. And a type one might be hearing this and being like, I don't experience. And nines might find that very weird because they're not, um, they might not be as aware of their physical connections. Mm. But in our um, deep collaboration, we can talk more about that. And so uh, they're the part of the body or gut triad. And then the head triad would be seven, six, and five, which I'm a five, as you said in the introduction. Mm -hmm. So head triads experience life through the lens of mental processes and using their mind and their, and their head to think things through. So super logical, usually like calculating things with their mind, they can be less conscious of their body and of their emotions. And then the heart triad, which is you, um, fours, threes and twos. So type four, three, and two are in the heart triad. Oh my gosh. Because remember how we weren't, sh- we, we were going back and forth, I think between two and mm-hmm. four for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And so that totally makes that sense. That makes so much sense. Yeah. And you're going to mm-hmm. love when we talk about our growth paths, um, I can't late, like in our big collaborative yes. project that we keep teasing for our audience <laughs> and you're just going to die. So, um, <laughs> it's so fun <laughs> because two is really connected to four. So, um, so that's what the triads are and a kind of a way to super oversimplify them. I like to give people sort of an image like the body triad. They're very instinctual. They rely on instincts. And so the metaphor that mm-hmm. I sometimes use is like a police dog. So when they're do- a police dog is like a German police, German shepherd, they're so cute, um, is doing their job. They are only using their instincts and their training and they're not using, they're not getting stuck in their head and they don't have any feelings about doing that job. Mm. They're just doing their job and they're, they move fast, they're efficient and, um, they can be aggressive if they need to be, um, sometimes or assertive or specific. And so not all ones I, I sometimes aren't aggressive and nine certainly aren't aggressive, but they are, can be assertive and specific. Okay. So that is the body triad. So very instinctual, the mind triad or the head triad. Those are people. I like to use the metaphor of a librarian. They can move kind of slower um, there because they're more thoughtful and sevens might not identify with that slowness. And so they, those sevens that don't, they really need to like dig into that because they are in fact can be slow in ways. Um, And they're going to have like a wealth of information and a wealth of thoughts and mental processes, these processes that keep them grounded. And those processes are ones of the mind, not of the heart or emotions. And then, um, so that's the metaphor that I use for the head types or the mind types, the heart triad, the metaphor that I use for them is like a therapist or a counselor or a coach like you. Yes. Um, <laughs> and so those people are people who can 
hold space or people who speak the emotional language of others and they can alter their personality to um, not necessarily in like a manipulative shape shiftery way, but just to make the people around them feel more comfortable. And so they're just really sensitive. And so those are metaphors that are very baseline because obviously we don't have three hours in this podcast for me to get into this super deep depths of um, triads, but that's just a way that people can look at them and think real quick what each triad is. Yeah. I love that. Thank Mm -hmm. you. Oh my gosh. That's so exciting. Um, Yeah. I think one of the things that came up as you were talking and, and we were like, I jokingly said, I'm married to one who's not in the heart, (laughs) who's not the heart (laughs) triad um, is that, We've talked before, especially when you did my typing session, about the implications of your your own type mm-hmm. and then what types you are drawn to, what types you um, connect really well with, what types you might find yourself in a romantic relationship with or a best friendship with, um, because we we are we are different and we're complex and we tend to gravitate yes towards people that have share similarities but also who can be really good partners Mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that i love helping people understand is you know sometimes we we are drawn or magnetized to people because of certain qualities that they have and then over time throughout your relationship or your marriage or friendship, it's like, oh, why are you doing that? And it becomes frustrating. The differences become Mm -hmm. frustrating. And that's one of the things that we've talked about is how to help people understand how we can see our differences as complementary, how we can see um, our strengths and identify them personally, but also then see how we can Uh, use them in our work, in our jobs, in our careers, in our businesses, in our relationships to help people to do, to do what we want to do, to be able to accomplish um, those professional and relationship goals as well. So I love that um, you bring up professional and relationship goals. I do think that having Uh, having like a healthy and supportive romantic relationship at home, if you choose to be in partnership, can, it affects your work performance so Mm -hmm. much. And it affects the way you show up in your business. If you're a business owner, the way you show up in your business and it will affect your success 1000%. And so that connection, this is kind of how I see how the Enneagram can manifest in those two environments at home in your partnership, how it can manifest is your partner. Like you said, you pick people for certain reasons and sometimes that's unconscious. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I notice that typically, like I see this pattern a lot that people pick a romantic partner that maybe is on the Enneagram, like a really opposite personality of them. Sometimes it's someone who's really similar, but oftentimes they're embodying something that's really opposite. And that person, the cool thing about the Enneagram growth pattern and path is that that becomes a mirror to the components of the Enneagram that you need to learn how to embody because the mm. most highest version of ourself embodies all components of the Enneagram. Oh, I love that. And so that person, not only like when they trigger you, that's fine. Um, and you, there are ways to work through that and you shouldn't be in an unhealthy relationship, of course, but when you're triggered by your romantic partner, a lot of times it's like, they're not only being your trigger, but also your teacher. Oh, and so it's like, uh, <laughs> so it's a really beautiful, you can, you can sort of like frame it as a really beautiful mirror. And I, I do that, that a lot of times in my relationship because my husband's personality is really like, um, energetic and enthusiastic and likes to do fun things. And I just want to like be at home and research. <laughs> so because I'm a type five and so he really can pull me out of that. And that is my actual growth path, according to the Enneagram. Now, the way that it manifests at work is, um, it depends because maybe you have work relationships that me- that kind of are similar to that partnership dynamic that can happen at work, which is fine and how, and you can have a really healthy relationship like that at work, but, um, with your, with your subordinates or your superiors or your coworkers, but also how it, I find that the Enneagram is really helpful at work is knowing people's, if you can know your coworkers types then you can understand the motivation for why they do things because mm-hmm. we can get frustrated by other pe- when you're working with a lot of people you can um, be frustrated and triggered by them 
And you might learn and grow from their, them like you would your partner. But also I think that the best place to start is being able to understand why they do what they do and why they act the way that they act and why you act the way that you act so that yeah. you can better um, connect and collaborate with them. Yeah. I love that. And as I was doing my research about the Enneagram and confidence and energy alignment and professional, how it can help in the professional realm, I, I came across a lot of studies and, and information about teams using the Enneagram in the like work teams using the Enneagram to really like get a team that has, has all the aspects that you need to make a successful team. I love that. There's so, I think there's, this is just the beginning. We're scratching the surface. There's so much for us, you know, like I just, you know, we're both dorks. We both love to, <laughs> we're both nerds. We love this stuff so much. Um, and so there's so much that, 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 that knowing your type, your, your Enneagram type is the first, like you said, the first step. Mm -hmm. And then recognizing how it can be really helpful to understand the people that you are in relationship with professionally, personally, can also just deepen the the ability to live life to its fullest potential mm -hmm. and to really have success in what you are what you are pursuing. I love that. Love it so yeah, much. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so I think that um it would be really helpful for your audience members to try to learn their Enneagram type. And there's a couple different ways that they can do that. What I will say um, is some, like you mentioned earlier, taking a quiz. I have done typing sessions for lots of people who have taken quizzes. And sometimes the quizzes are right, but more often than not, they're wrong. And the reason why they're wrong is because they're only looking at the nine different archetypes. And like I said, um, there's thousands of iterations of those archetypes. So working with the professional can help pull those out. Uh, like a, And so a lot of people mistype if they are just doing a quiz, not always, but often. And so there are the free quizzes. And I do think that if you want to take a quiz and then you want to dive deeper into contemplation, that's an option. Another thing that they can do, of course, um, is listen. It, in a few minutes, we're going to talk about our collaboration yes. and that will really help them go deep into each Enneagram type so that they can figure out what type they are on their own. Um, and then another thing is they can do a typing session. And so that's what you did to confirm your type. And so those typing sessions, if you think you know your type, but you're not a hundred percent sure, or if you're vacillating between like four different types, those typing sessions with me, of course, can really help suss that out because I have all of the advanced knowledge about tri-types and <laughs> subtypes yes. and wings and how all that works. And so yes. people can get that information and, um, and sometimes even learn their subtypes and all of the extra stuff too. So, yeah, I absolutely, I want to stop right now and say, and tell people how to get their typing session with you, mm -hmm. right? Like if, if that is, if you are listening to us and you're like, oh, I want to know what type I am. You, yes, you do. You do want to know what type you are. It can help you. Like we've said, there are so many, so many ways to use this information um, and deepening your self-awareness for your life, your love, your work goals. Um, so tell us where we can find you to get, to sign up for a typing session. Yeah. So people can find me. I am Enneagram underscore guide on Instagram. And so they can find me there and my links are linked in my Instagram bio. They can find me on my website at angiemeyercoaching.com. And I can give you links to all of these. Yes. And then they can also find me on my podcast, which is Enneagram Guide. And they can get a little, if they're like super into Enneagram or they want to get into it, they can get like a little deeper with that. Um, of course, they can connect with me. If they listen a little bit further, they can connect with me and you together. And we're going to talk about that. Um, but those are all the ways that they can find me. Yes. So we will absolutely put all of those links in the show notes for, for you to find Angie, um, do a deeper dive on what is your finding out your type. I loved, loved, loved my session with you. Um, because you're right. It, you, <laughs> you overwhelm, like overwhelmingly have so much knowledge that it was so great because you, it just was an amazing session and, and I value it so much, obviously, because you are here and we're doing more of a program. So I think it is, is it time to reveal our big, <laughs> our 
big, big project collabo. Um, I know I want to get my notebook so I have like every look at this thing. I know. Oh my I'm goodness! Rippling all I'm so over excited. Okay. So we're going to announce what, if you are loving this and you want more and you want to um, learn about how to really apply this, apply the information of the Enneagram, the personality, the connect between personality, spirituality, and also with in line with aligning your energy with your values, your mission, your vision, and doing that confidently so all of these things are overlapping these are these are our specialties angie and mine we have our unique special specialties but we also have that part of our work that overlaps as you can hear throughout this we have developed a master course that you can find on my website drliz.com that's d-r-l-y-z.com empowered biz empowered biz which is the area where you can find this program this master course angie tell us i'm gonna let you talk now and tell us more about about why this is so amazing oh thank you i can't contain my enthusiasm <laughs> and so i'm really glad you let me talk it was like <laughs> bubbling up inside me um, yeah so the transformation for me the transformation that people are going to experience when they take this master course is so awesome specifically for business um people who are like business professionals because being able to have that confidence to speak your truth being able to have that confidence mm -hmm to know how to do it in an integrated way, because some people can do it, but they can't do it in an integrated way. That's going to make people listen. That's going to make people connect. That's going to make you more money, which we all want. And yes. um, because that's just part of our material security. And it's like the energetic exchange that we deserve for our hard work. And um, it's also going to help you align your energy in a more efficient way so that you're not wasting time getting stuck in loops that are old programming that you need to move past. And so I'm so excited for the people who take this course because it's going to help them find that transformational path using the Enneagram. Yes. I love it. Yes. So one of the things that we talk about a lot here is taking inventory, check in, checking in with yourself about where you are putting your energy energy, your time, your money, your resources, right? All of these things that we spend, that we invest into life. Um, it's kind of recognizing where, where are we putting that now and what shifts can we make to, to do better, to perform at our optimal level. That's, we, we talk about peak performance here and we want to help you perform at your optimal level so that you are making more money, that you are sitting with, sitting at the table and speaking your truth, using your voice to get that promotion, get to that next level, make more money and do it in less time, do it efficiently. So what we want to help you do is invest your energy in the, in the spaces that bring you the results that you are looking for. And you can do that by learning more about yourself, learning about your personality in line with how to use your strengths to become more confident. When you know yourself better, you trust yourself better, you automatically are in that space of boosting your confidence, right? When Think about that. When you know yourself, you know what you want, you're able to speak it but you have to know it first. And that's what we're gonna help you do. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Angie, I'm passing, I'm passing the ball back to you. Can you tell them about the bonus, the exciting bonus? <laughs> oh yes. So for people who sign up in the month of April, they are gonna get a bonus. And um, and it's just for those people, those that early bird bonus, they're gonna get a bonus. So they're not only gonna get access to the course, that's gonna help them make that magical transformation to align their energy and make more money. But they're also going to get a bonus live with me and you where they can yes. ask those questions and help get extra specialized personal advice on how to make their aligned actions come to fruition. I love that. Yes. Because when we when we're in a space together, right, we we build on each other's energy. Just I'm inviting you listeners as you're as you're sitting here to 
you know who when you are around certain people you feel better you do better your your energy is uplifted and that is that is what we're talking about when we talked about finding community finding connection um we know that the two of us when we're together our energy is like oh we're we're excited but we're also able to balance that out right we're able to balance each other out and we want to bring that to you to help you answer the questions that come up while you are going through this master course whatever it is that you are wanting to do in your business this course will help you and then sign up in april of 2023 and you will receive the bonus access to a live master class with angie and myself with me and angie yes. so liz can you tell them how they can even find out how to sign up yes okay so go to my website drliz.com and go to the empowered biz link and you will see all of the information there go there get on the list so that you will be the first to know when it's ready to go when it's ready for you to dive deep into all of this stuff Yay. i'm so excited i think one of the things i just loved um and wanted to make sure i came back to is when you talked about the nine types and you said um basically the concept is we have all of them in us mm -hmm. right like we have all nine types within us on some level but what the what the typing session does and and doing the deeper dive helps to really identify your primary type your subtype this this what what triad you are in and all of these other things but just loving the fact that um sometimes you you're not only learning about yourself when you're learning about the nine types as you learn more about it, you get to start to um, understand the different dynamics and relationships within your life. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I love that about the Enneagram too. And that now something important to know is that you can only, you you have to declare your own type. No one can necessarily say this is your type mm. or you are, my, my husband is a two. Like that it's because <laughs> right. it is a journey right. of self-evolution and self-development and self-discovery. But the uh, the awesome thing is that once you know your type, you can help other people figure out their type. And if um when if people do the masterclass, they will know all the information of all the types. They're not just going to learn about their type. We're going to go over all the types. And it's not only important to know that to connect with other people, but it's also important to know that to be able to develop yourself. And we're going to talk about that in the master course, because the self-development, you must know not just your own type, but you must know like basically all the information about all the types. And so it's really important to hear everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. I love that so much. Tell us again, Angie, where we can find you. Oh yes. Okay. So you can find me on Instagram. That's where all my links are to all my awesome stuff. Um, my typing sessions specifically is the most awesome. And my Instagram <laughs> handle is Enneagram underscore guide and my website, which has also all the links to all my stuff. And um, I'm, I'm an artist, so it's like super cute and well-designed is uh, angiemeyercoaching.com. And the link will be in the show notes, of course. I'm not going to spell it for right, you um, right. because it's longer than Dr. Liz. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and my podcast, which is new. And actually, Liz, um, you have really helped me out with this. And so those people who have not helped me like get my podcast off the ground, those people who are interested in doing a podcast and have not done your podcast masterclass, they need to, because like, I wish that you had that course developed when I started my podcast, mm -hmm. like it would have saved me so much time and money and energy. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, so my podcast is, yeah, you're welcome. Those people like really need to lean on you. Um, that I miss out having Liz be my person. I mean, she helped me, but like, um, I didn't have her program, which would have been amazing. Uh, my podcast is Enneagram guide. And so they can just find that on Spotify or, um, uh, Apple podcasts or whatever, any of the major platforms. Love that. Yes. Go to the show notes. The links are all there and stay tuned for the arrival of our big collabo that I'm just so, so excited for. Yes. I'm so excited too. They got to get on that wait list. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. Check out our master course at drliz.com slash empowered biz. Make more money with the Enneagram and your energy flow. Money is energy. Time is energy. We are helping you make more money and waste less time. Taking inventory of your energy right now, body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit, where are you investing your energy? Research conducted with Enneagram typing demonstrates that using awareness of your personality type is positively correlated with higher levels of professional performance, confidence, job satisfaction, and success. Is your energy in line with your values, mission, and vision? If not, we will help you make the necessary shifts in your energy. So you can perform at your optimal level, increase your confidence, align your energy with your goals in life, work, and love, and of course, make more money. Okay, so that is it for today. Again, we thank you. Thank you, Angie. This was so much fun. Um, I'm saying thank you to you, and I just love connecting with you. Every time I'm with you, I'm just like so energized and so excited. And um, I hope that you, the listeners, I hope that you all have enjoyed this episode. Please share it. We invite you to share it with someone that you love um, and spread the love, share this power with with your people and um, come find us, come do the deeper dive with us. We would love to see you at our our live masterclass and help you even further be successful in your life and your business. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Liz. Thank you for connecting on this episode of the podcast, Empowered by Design. For further connection, subscribe to my email list at drliz.com to be sure that you are in the loop for exciting news, events, and resources. You can also follow me on social media at Dr. Liz and at Visionistas by Design. I invite you to subscribe to this podcast and send this episode to one of your people in order to share the love, spread the power. This podcast is designed to inspire, educate, and empower you to pursue your dreams with intentional vision. This podcast is not meant to be a substitute for psychological treatment or a working relationship with a licensed mental health professional. For more information on connecting with mental health resources in your area, visit drliz.com and click on resources. Thank you again for connecting and remember, trust the heart, work your vision, dream, design, deliver.